How's it going, people? I bought this, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago. And I just haven't been in a mood for hard stuff. But today definitely qualifies as a tough day. And I think I can go for a little uh, single malt. Ten years old. Speeburn. This is the good shit, folks. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Got about four, four it came to passes here, I believe. we are in chapter 23. Well, let's give a look at this masthead here. Heading. Religious freedom is proclaimed. Oh, great. How about freedom from religion? No. Many Lamanites converted. Amalekites and Amulonites Reject the truth. The anti Nephi Lehi's. So, this is the first time we hear this crazy term, uh, uh, anti Nephi Lehi, and it's a name, apparently. It's a subdivision. <laughs> uh, anti Nephi Lehi. Because they're pro Nephi Lehi. That's why they're anti. I don't understand it. So anyway, we'll just we'll just drive off that bridge when we get to it. <sighs> Anyhow, verse one calls for one of these. Oh, that's nice. I haven't had this in I don't know, maybe a few weeks, a month. I don't really do much drinking off camera. Almost none. I can go months without drinking, honestly. I had a butthurt Mormon to call me a pothead 40-something alcoholic. And I went, you think I'm 40-something? Thanks. I'm 51, people. Some people think I'm 51, 50. <laughs> Verse 1. Behold. Now it came to pass. So we got behold and now together this time. To, I think they're becoming conscious that they're using the phrase a little too much. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. That the king of the Lamanites set a proclamation among all his people that they should not lay their hands on Amulon unless they want to lose an arm. Or Aaron, or Omner, or Himni, nor either of their brethren, uh, who should go forth preaching uh, the word of God in whatsoever place they should be, in any part of their land. Uh, two. Yea. He sent a decree among them that they should not lay their hands on them to bring, to bind them, or to cast them into prison. Neither should they spit upon them, or smite them, uh, nor cast them out of their synagogues, because they got synagogues in the New World, too. And it's a, uh, yeah during the period of uh, B.C. 90 to 77. And no, I don't mean before Columbus. <laughs> before Christ. Although, you fool me reading this book, man. They, they get it all worked out. There's not a surprise in the whole universe. Including their demise. <laughs> ah. If 
kind of makes me think of Slaughterhouse Five with the trial Thamadorians. Oh no, we destroyed the universe uh, with a test engine. Yeah, we keep doing it because you know it's always been that way. Because that's the nature of time. <laughs> I spilled my scotch when I sit over there. Hey, synagogues, nor scourge them. Neither should they cast stones at them. You know, this could be a lot shorter, don't you think? Just by saying, uh, you know, don't interfere with them and don't, you know, don't mess with these people. And give them every courtesy, even yours. <sighs> yeah, and they do what they want. They go to your culture and they disrespect it. Because it's, if it doesn't agree with what they're doing, then obviously it's it needs to be changed, and who cares about what it was? <laughs> uh, but that they should have free access to their houses and also their temples and their sanctuaries. Three! And thus they might go forth and preach the word according to their desires. <sighs> For the king has been converted unto the Lord and all his household. Therefore, he sent his proclamation throughout the land unto his people, that the word of God might have no obstruction, but that they might go forth throughout all the land, that his people might be convinced concerning their wicked traditions, and of their fathers, that and that they might be convinced that they were all brethren, and that they ought not to murder, nor plunder, nor steal, nor commit adultery, nor to commit any manner of wickedness. For, and now it came to pass. I like this when it warms up a little bit. Ah, Clockwork Orange soundtrack. Yeah. And now it came to pass that when the king had sent forth his proclamation that Aaron and his brethren went forth from city to city and from one house of, of worship to another they were uh, establishing churches churches next to the synagogues uh, and consecrating priests and teachers throughout the land among the Lamanites of God yeah they got Lamanites but no Levites <laughs> to preach and to teach the word of God among them. And thus, they began to have great success. Five. And thousands were brought to the knowledge of God. Yea, thousands were brought to believe in the traditions of the Nephites. Sounds like the Borg, you know. Join us. Resistance is futile. We do not respect your ways. We will assimilate what we can use. Yeah. Isn't it nice to be owned and useful? Uh. And they were taught the records and prophecies, which were handed down even to the present time, six. And as sure as the Lord liveth, so sure as many as believed or have or as many as as were brought to the knowledge of the truth through the preachings of Ammon and his brethren according to the spirit of revelation and prophecy which are two different things I guess Here, we're splitting hairs one's telling the future and the other one's being told the future I guess which isn't that the same fucking thing? Are you saying that you've got powers of your own? It becomes you're just a receiver, then. Yach. <laughs> the spirit of revelation and prophecy and the power of God working miracles in them. Yay! 
I say unto you, As the Lord liveth, as many of the Lamanites as believed in their preaching and were converted unto the Lord, never did fall away. 7. For they became a righteous people. They did lay down their weapon, the weapons of their rebellion, but uh, that they did not fight against God any more, neither against any of their brethren. 8. Now, these are they who were converted unto the Lord. And we have a colon. Uh, 9. The people of the Lamanites who were in the land of Ishmael in North America, or at least this hemisphere, I don't know, this chunk of rock, maybe somewhere in South America. Ten, and also of the people of Lamanites who were in the land of Madonai. Eleven, and also uh, of the people of the Lamanites who were in the city of Nephi. Twelve, and also of the people of the Lamanites who were brought in the land of Shilom, and who were in the land of Shimlon, and in the city of Lemuel, and in the city of Shimnilnot. Shimnilom, Shimnilom, Shimnilom. Thirteen. And these are the names of the cities of the Lamanites which were converted unto the Lord. And these are they that laid down the weapons of their rebellion, yea, all the weapons of war. And they were all Lamanites. Fourteen. And the Amalekites were not converted, save only one. Neither were any of the Amulonites, but they did harden their hearts, and also the hearts of the Lamanites in that part of the land, wheresoever they dwelt, yea, and all their villages and all their cities. 15. Therefore, we have named all the cities of the Lamanites in which they did repent and come to the knowledge of the truth and were converted. 16. And now it came to pass that the king and those who were converted were desirous that they might have a name. Another name, thanks. That thereby they might be distinguished from their brethren. Oh. <laughs> Therefore the king consulted with Aaron and many of their priests concerning the name that they should take upon them, that they might be distinguished. And it sounds like they had to compromise, because there's three names here. Two hyphens. This is a doubly hyphenated name. <laughs> Seventeen. And it came to pass that they called their names Anti Nephi Levi's. Anti as in against Anti Nephi Lehi's. And they were called by this name and were no more called Lamanites. 
and they began to be a very industrious people, yay, and they were friendly with the Nephites. Therefore, they did open a correspondence with them, and the curse of God did no more follow them. Hmm, I wonder how that, what they mean by that. And uh, I'm wondering the reasoning. Uh, how would they end up with this name? Anti Nephi Lehi. Two hyphens. Anyway, that's that. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.